<laughs> All right, so I'm here with John and uh, John and Mary. All right, so you just won Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Oh, that's one of my favorites for sure. So uh, tell us what it takes to get to uh, a Hall of Fame driver. What do you – how long How long have you been driving? Let's start, let's start there maybe. I've been driving for 46 years now. 46 years. You must have seen some changes. I uh, – I, I've been. I drove for 25. I stopped driving 2006, but I started in the 80s, and I've seen some crazy changes over the years. So, yes, I've seen uh, all kinds of changes, and uh, they've asked me one time here uh, what I would, you know, what I do that trucking again, and I said, well, that's a hard question to ask somebody that's been doing it for 46 yeah. years, because you started in a different era and worked your way to now where yeah. you think you couldn't do it, but a young guy. Fired up, wants to drive truck, gets in, yeah. you know. And I'm sure the changes will be the same for him all the way through. I work with some of the trucking schools, and I feel bad for them. They're learning yeah. in eight weeks what I learned in 25 right. years on the road, right? When I started, you couldn't even run on a Sunday. You had to, unless you had produce, there was no yeah. log books, there was no dangerous goods. That all came in in steps as things progressed, right? So now they got to learn that eight weeks. They got to remember it. They got to do pre-trips and all that kind of stuff, right? So, so it's a different yeah. way. Although the log books keep them from from uh, overdriving now. Yeah, yeah, that, that that part's changed a bit, but uh, I think I think it's uh, you still think it's a good industry for people. I, I, I mean, even someone coming in today, I know it's going to be a lot different than what you experienced. Yeah, I think it would. I think it would be if you if you uh, have the drive to drive. You know, you want yeah. to do it. That's what you want to do, and you like running yeah. the sound of a big truck. You know, a diesel. And yeah, I think it's a good industry still. Yeah, I like that you're not retiring until you get good at golf. You're in there forever. You know that. <laughs> I don't know about your golf. If it's anything like my golf game, just forget retirement. It's not happening. It's <laughs> pretty much, yeah, pretty much. I like, but uh, yeah, I love what I do. I just yeah. love the job. Yeah. yeah, sounds like you're amazing at it. People testimony. Your video was amazing to watch and. I was, it was fun, fun to do. I was really nervous, but <laughs> yeah. I, I, you're used to being by yourself in a truck, right? Yeah, so you're, you're just alone, so you know you get so you really don't like to be around a whole lot of people, whole lot do you, of an individual. Do you? Do you? I I find that the camaraderie is what's missing in the industry. Like yes. we used to, it, yes. it used to be a lot of fun. You know, going down the road, the CB, you knew people, other companies, and now nobody talks. I got a CB in my pickup, and nobody talks to anybody. I, someone talked to me the other day. I was all like, wow, that's like a big deal. It, yeah, since the cell phones have come in, you know, yeah. like, I mean, when we were running there, anytime you saw a truck on the road, you would stop. Yeah. But, you know, if, if uh, he didn't answer you or if you thought yeah. he had a problem, right, you'd stop and help him out. Well, they don't, nobody even asks you on the radio no. anymore if you got problems, right? No. They, oh, everybody's got a cell phone. Yeah, yeah. So you, so it's like you got dedicated runs too that you just go yeah, the same yeah, spot all the time. Yeah, and do you do you get bored of that, or do you just like I, to be you like to know no, your I home? Because I I get to uh, converse with all the farmers when I'm picking up yeah. all you know, and, um, So it's it's nice. To talk. Your tea time set up for four p.m. every day. <laughs> Yeah, don't want to be past three thirty. You know, it's yeah. got to be there at four. Yeah. <laughs> well, some days I start at, like on my job. I can start earlier. So some sure. days, if I got an early tea time, I'll start. <laughs> it's all about the tea yeah. time. <laughs> it's nice when you can get your job to revolve around your golf yeah. schedule. I, th I think that's yeah, great. It never used to be like that. But no, I think that's why I'm not a good golfer because you didn't have time for golf back. Then. Well, tr yeah, n n truckers usually aren't golfers because there's no time for that stuff, right? I I started golfing after I I left the road as well. Well, so it's a, it's it's good that you do that. What's a tip that you'd give somebody who's brand new coming in? And say, I, I'm always trying to bridge that gra that gap here at PMTC. We have the young leaders group, which are young individuals coming into the trans, not necessarily driving, but they're still coming into the industry. And the industry gets a bad rap. We're we're our own worst marketer. You know, stay out for 14 hours a day and never come home. And what would you tell somebody who's well, brand new looking I, at this I thing? Maybe the biggest tip is to never. Never get in a, a big hurry. Yeah. Like, I mean, you do your job normally, but if you're running late, you're going to have to call and say I'm late. There's yeah. no, you don't make up time. You can't yeah. make up time, and there's no use trying to cut corners because that's when you're going to get in trouble. Yeah. I tell people I can waste time. I can't make up time. I tell, I tell them that to this day. Every, you know, I get, I get teased by that whole room. Most of them know me, and I, I'll have a meeting in Mississauga, and I'm there like at 6 a.m. for an 8 a.m. meeting, and they go, they just laugh. Hey, Bruce, Bruce will be the first one there. That's the, but you know what? 
I don't like being late. It stresses me out to be late. Like I would rather be three hours early and waste time than you can always polish a truck or work on the computer or practice your golf swing, whatever. <laughs> I like that when we go out with people that they tell me to be there at three o'clock. I'm usually there at five. Or yeah, truckers are not fashionably late on anything. <laughs> it was the same when you were doing runs. You always yeah. slept early enough that you knew, you know, if you got into a half an hour delay or something, you're still going to make your time. So Yeah, yeah. Any, anything you'd like to add? Anything uh, about this guy that we didn't, we didn't, we don't know? No, okay, don't tell us that part. <laughs> so, what, what do you think, uh, what do you think of uh, truck driving? Is it, is it, uh, it's been a viable career, I guess, right? You guys have been together a long yeah, time, so very, it's... Very lucky, and, and I think that uh, somebody's been looking over top of them to, to, I mean, it takes talent to have a, yep. um, a trucking career with an accident. Yes, because uh, <laughs> I'm not stellar like that even after 25 years. Tangled, right? Yeah. You don't know what the other person going to do. So, yeah. Um, I'm thankful that he has had that career. That's amazing. That's amazing. Did you know about this award? Did they did they tell you ahead of time? Yeah, they told me just just when I had to uh, do the video. Oh, did they tell you like the other guys? Because the other guys just said, hey, we need to talk to you. And in trucking, that either means you're fired today or you're getting promoted. You're never sure which way you're yeah, going. That's how they tell you. Right? Yeah, it's, that's a trucking thing, right? No, you know, special thing. I knew, just... I, knew I wasn't fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like your customers won't let you go from the video I saw, right? So that's, uh, yeah, that's amazing. I've got a boss that's told me that too, that, that uh, I'm not allowed to retire until he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. you guys are golfing together now see, see he's, he's going let's see how long this guy's gonna last there uh and where, where do you go from now i guess it, it, just practicing golf because it, it, what's the next step like do you do training or anything or i haven't I, I, no I mean, if they wanted me to i could do some but i i just uh i just gotta keep driving if i have to uh you know, you can't make too much money or the government claws you back on <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, I might have to cut down to a two-day week or something. Right, like, right. Or work for nothing, you know. Yeah, <laughs> work for nothing. That doesn't sound appealing to me at all. I'm even trucking. <laughs> you know, I'm looking, I, I miss the road. I'm looking for that one company that'll hire me one day a week. You got to give me the shiniest truck in the fleet. And I don't want to be gone overnight, technically. <laughs> so, you know, like this, I, guess, I don't think I'm going to find it, but I've been, I miss the road. I've been off it for about 17 years now, so. Well, that's why I, f I found it here where, you know, I'm home every night now and yep. I only work, you know, an eight hour day most of the time, some yep. nine hour days. And, and uh, if I want to go down to a two day week, they're, they're okay with that. Yep. Right now I just work three days a week and yeah, I love it. You tell me you want to be paid for five, but you want to work one. Yeah. Hey, if they love you that much, they might just make it happen, right? So they, sounds like they love you that much anyway. Uh, well, listen, thank you very much for what you've done. Thank, uh, it, to, to me, it's, it's showing the industry, like everybody just thinks we just dump on people, right? You know, even in, even in my day when I started, you couldn't do anything else, go shift trucks. That's how, that's how you got in. Or, you know, I, I dropped out of high school. I started in the moving end of the industry and then progressed my way up and ended up a fleet supervisor. And now I'm doing media. I'm not even driving or self-employed. <laughs> I'm not sure that's... No, I got less golf than you, though. I'm not yeah. sure that worked out for me. So okay. no, it's, a, it's a great, great industry. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, you love the... Love to drive. That's what you need, right? Yeah, yeah. You gotta love to drive. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. if you if you love it, and that, it, yeah. hopefully that's showing everybody else. I'm showing it through you. So thank yeah. you for doing that. I love promoting the Hall of Fame drivers. Yeah. It's my favorite part of the whole conference is when you guys get awarded. And I'm trying to get you all before you take off because you guys like spend ten minutes and you're gone. Truck drivers can't be inside. We're not. You know, oh, <laughs> the rest of us are climatized, but yeah. you're not there yet. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks very much for your time. Enjoy the falls and whatever you're going to do this afternoon. And thanks for taking the time.